Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, yesterday, when we all logged in for the start of the 6th anniversary, everyone got a brand new red Dragonstone, right? And a question that comes up a ton every single time we get one of these is, which unit should I pick with my red stone? Because I don't know which units are still good, I don't know who's bad now, and so on and so forth. So in today's video, I'm going to try my best to help you guys out with this very difficult decision and uh, give you guys my opinion about who deserves to be picked with the redstone. All right. So with all that said, let's uh, jump right into it. And uh, first things first, we'll take a look at the selection. We got the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Goku, Tech Perfect Cell, Int Ultimate Gohan, STR, Broly, Fizz, Frieza, Tech Beerus, Int Janemba, STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Fizz Kid Buu, AGL Gohan, STR Goku, STR Go 10, AGL Ultimate Gohan, Fizz Ultimate Gohan, Int Perfect Cell, STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, STR Super Gogeta, AGL Kid Buu. Okay, one thing I'll say right now is definitely don't pick him. <laughs> no matter what you do, do not pick AGL Kid Buu. Even if he's the last unit you need, just don't do it, because he's really, really bad, guys. This this is one of those units that has an Extreme Z Awakening and is still unusable. Like, his Extreme Z Awakening needs an Extreme Z Awakening immediately. That's honestly how bad he is. Just my opinion, and the opinion of like most people I think that have used him, but yeah, don't pick him. And then we have Tech Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Fizz, um... Go, no, Fizz Trunks, my brain just stopped working for a second. Fizz Trunks, STR Beerus, AGL Vegeta, STR Evil Boo, uh, Fizz Goku, Int Metal Cooler, Int Android 13, Tech Nova Shenron, STR Gohan, AGL Khalifla, Fizz Kale, STR Topo, AGL Dispo, and an Elder Kai for people that already have everything else. So for me personally, I will be going for the Elder Kai because he's the only one that makes sense, but I'm assuming most of you guys watching right now are missing at least a few of the other units, right? So, uh, yeah, the question comes down to which of these many, many units, I mean, the selection just keeps getting bigger and bigger, right? So that's why it's so confusing, because there are so many different units you could pick from. And uh, I'll just tell you right now that the ones that stand out to me are the following. We have Int Janemba, we have STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, uh, Fizz Kid Buu, Tech Beerus, uh, STR Super Gogeta, as well as AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, and Fizz Kale. And, oh, also, wait, did I put Topo here twice? Oh, never mind. Okay, so yeah, also STR Topo, and that pretty much would be the highlights for me, and I'll give you guys the reason for each one. So, I think number one, if you don't have Int Janemba, he has got to be your pick. He, I think, is still the best unit out of uh, all the available units in this selection, mainly because he is an incredible tank. An incredible, incredible tank. And he's also a very good damage dealer, too. Like, his damage output for how old his EZA is, I mean, you can see. He first Extremes he awakened on JP in 2018, and then in August of 2019 for Global. So, if you guys hear some sounds in the background, that's... Uh, Android 18 sneezing, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's been a couple years, even for Global, since he Extremes the Awakened, and he's still putting up numbers like over 3 million uh, at Rainbow Status, of course, not 55%, so yours probably won't hit that hard, but he's hitting really hard, and also his defense is still very, very good, man. The guarding against all is key, and he also has that medium chance the dodge super attacks as well, or just all attacks in general, and, um, you know, good link set for him too, like, he's just a really, really good unit, man, so, if you guys don't have him, and you have a team to run him on, of course, then this guy has gotta be your pick, he is easily, in my mind, the best unit in the entire pool right now, and then we have the STR Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who is very, very useful, you know, for especially Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, any event where you need to tank, you know, enemies that hit extremely hard, 
This guy has gotten me through so many stages of uh, super and extreme super battle road just because of that crazy 80% damage reduction for 10 turns. And then he also can do some good damage if you are able to stun the enemy. Of course, this is not always guaranteed. Uh, one thing I will say is if you want to build him properly, I would give him as many additionals as possible because what you can do is you know, the, the first super can stun the enemy and then the second super can get the additional 120% attack boost for the you know big damage numbers, right? So um, I would definitely go with additionals for him, but just in terms of usefulness, um, I think he is you know, pretty close to Janemba and he will help you out a lot in some of those harder events. So definitely Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta should be heavily considered. And then we have the Fizz Kid Boo, and for this guy, I mean his damage is not that impressive, his defense is very bad, but he is one of the best supports in the entire game. And of course I'm talking about all these units after their Extreme Z Awakening, so keep that in mind. Alright, before Extreme Z Awakening, none of them are actually that good, but post Extreme Z Awakening is what I'm talking about. So. Um, yeah, he is one of the best supports in the game. All allies keep plus 2, attack and defense plus 50%, when HP is 80% or above. I'm pretty sure this is the the highest all allies um, support in the game still. You know, like we get, we get pretty good support for like certain types or extreme or super from other units, but in terms of like all allies, like a rainbow support, I guess, Kid Buu is still the best, right? And of course, it drops down to only 30% when below 79% HP. But uh, he's just such a good support, and he's also good on like so many good teams, like you know Majin Buu Saga, Transformation Boost, um, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Power, so on and so forth. So I would go for him if you guys don't have Janemba or Super Saiyan, or already have rather, already have Janemba and Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. And then after that, we have Tech Beerus, who isn't really uh, too fancy. It's just, um, you know, good, really good damage, actually, after he extremes, he awakens. And he also has some decent defense. And uh, there's also the Rage Mode, of course, which is kind of cool. Um, because his Rage Mode is slightly different, right? He has three different super attacks. And the, I believe, 12 key super here. Yeah, 12 key super has a high chance to stun, too. So that's kind of cool. But um, yeah, Beerus is not really super high on my list to be honest, but if you already have the other three, then I would consider this guy as well. And obviously, at the end of the day, it comes down to which units you need the most, right? It depends on your box, depends on which teams you're trying to build. So if you're trying to build like a Realm of Gods team and you could use a Beerus, then, you know, obviously Beerus would be higher on your list. If you're trying to build another team where another unit would slot in better, then obviously those units make more sense for you, right? So even though I'm like giving you guys my opinion about who's good, you know, just like in a vacuum, I guess, um, it still really is dependent on your personal situation. So definitely keep that in mind as well. All right, so moving on from Beerus, we have SDR Super Gogeta. And uh, just like Beerus, he really doesn't do too much you know, special in my opinion. I mean, he does some really good damage. That's the main thing. He does some really good damage, attacks effective against all. His defense is much better after the Extreme Z Awakening, but it's still not amazing. So don't really expect him to tank for you. But if you need a good fusion or Super Saiyans or Ruby Heroes, um, you know, filler, then this guy is still a solid pick. Of course, he's not as good as the Int Super Gogeta, right? He did get replaced by the Int 120 lead, but this guy, I think, can still hold his own, at least on offense. And then uh, we have uh, Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla, who is actually really, really useful because of her dodges, and her defense can get very high because she gets 60% defense for three turns on her super, and uh, she also has the high chance to evade, and a medium chance of countering supers as well. And she also gets attacks effective against all when she has a Kale attacking in the same turn. So um, her damage is not amazing, but not bad, right? With the attacks effective against all. And her defense is actually very, very good. And, you know, the dodging can save you in... Uh, I mean, she's actually not a bad choice for like the new... What do you call it? Gods of Destruction event when you're facing against E1. Like, she is actually a pretty good choice because of the dodging and also the decent damage, so... Um, yeah, very good pick here. You can't really go wrong with Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. You can't go wrong with Fizz Visitor Kale either. 
because uh, she gets some really crazy damage. Also, 60% damage reduction for six turns. Um, that's kind of her thing, man. She just does like a lot of damage, and she can launch like up to three supers. Um, just a beast of a unit. And then we have STR Topo, who is an incredible, incredible support unit. All allies get plus one, attack and defense plus 40%, but also all enemies defense minus 70% and reduces damage received by 40% when HP is 70% or less. So when you're below 70% HP, this guy actually becomes quite tanky. And uh, he also raises allies attack by 30% for one turn on a super, so just a very good support unit if you need one for Realm of Gods or Universe Survival Saga, Final Trump card, or any of these categories really. And uh, lastly, oh, that's it. Okay, so let me just quickly check if I'm not really skimping over anybody else that deserves consideration. Of course, I'm not gonna talk about every single unit, right? I'm not gonna go over all their details, but those are the ones that really stand out to me. And um, I think the last thing I'll probably say is that I would go for one of the Dokkan Fest units first, which would be Janemba, Super Saiyan 3, uh, Vegeta, Kid Buu, Beerus, uh, Gogeta, or Gogeta, so one of these first, over Khalifla, Kale, and Topo, mainly because Khalifla, Kale, and Topo are not Dokkan Fest units, right? So they're much more common. They can actually be pulled on any banner, whereas the other ones are going to be less common, right? They're not going to be featured as much on banners. Um, and a lot of times, you know, at this point, if you want to buy them, you have to wait for the redstone, or you have to wait for, like... You have to buy them in the Baba shop essentially with coins or something like that, right? So it's just like harder to get them. So I would definitely go for a Dokkan Fest unit over a non Dokkan Fest unit like Kale, Khalifla, and Topo. And of course, if you have all the Dokkan Fest units, that, then that's when you consider one of the other units I talked about. Um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku does some good damage, but he was the first EZA, and the issue with him is that. Uh, his defense is just not really, not really great. I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Oh, actually, no, I think his issue was, yeah, he has, there's a turn restriction on his attack. That's my main problem with him. He only gets the 120% attack for seven turns, and then he loses it. And that that's really rough, you know? And uh, outside of that, I mean, Cell is, is solid. Cell is solid. Um... Yeah, like you can't really go too wrong here, but I would definitely focus on the guys that I mentioned because I think those are the most useful units. Those are still the most relevant units in the current meta, in today's meta. And um, yeah, good luck <laughs> in your choices. Uh, by the way, for anybody that you know doesn't know, the Dokkan Fest units I mentioned, um, or just the Dokkan Fest units in general in this pool are STR Gogeta. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, Janemba, Beerus, uh, Frieza, Broly, Int Super or Int Ultimate Gohan, Tech Cell, and ATL Super Saiyan 3 Goku. So those are definitely the ones you should go for first over the non Dokkan Fest units, which would be the rest of the selection. Because once again, you know they're much harder to get compared to the non Dokkan Fest units. Okay, so there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped you. With your with your choices, uh, oh, Metal Cooler is a very good support, so that also could be good for an extreme team. And uh, oh, Dispo actually is underrated. Okay, Dispo, you know I used him yesterday, and people were like, "Yo, he sucks, man. Don't don't use Dispo. It's gonna get wrecked." And he actually was pretty key in helping me beat the uh, STR God of Destruction. So yeah, don't sleep on Dispo, guys. Don't sleep on the boy Dispo. And that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for today's video. I'm gonna leave you off on my personal number one choice, the Int Janemba. I still think he's the best unit in this pool, no questions. And uh, should be your number one choice as well if you don't have him. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Hope the video helped. As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. 
and that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.